Spider-Man, man. What about Spider-Man? Nah. It's just a... What is it? It's the same as the other Spider-Man, but you play as Miles now. Right? You're very ready. It's basically it. Well, for the first time in quite some time here, we are seeing the Mario Ditto in a different way that I would never have imagined in 2020, and here we are. Yeah, Doc versus Vanilla Mario. Um, like I said, it's a case-by-case -case basis of more map matchup knowledge. It's just more of like, how much does Dr. Mario... Sorry, how much is Master Mario gonna anticipate about like the proper DI and how to like, account for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never want to sleep on Dr. Mario because he's so strong. Yeah. Okay, nice, he caught the drift. He didn't uh, get the sweet spot for a smash though. Oh, oh, that yeah, was yeah. Mean. yeah, that's this is what Mario has in this matchup, even more so than a lot of characters. There's so many ways to. Uh, really screw up Dr. Mario's recovery, even outside of just his really good hitboxes and speed, like, you get some off stage off the blood and the cape to really mess him up, but, uh, nice drops on there. That was even better than Mario's, just because, uh, the longer it stays off, the stronger the hitbox is. Exactly. And I think it actually got even stronger in one of the patches, too, so it's just really good to throw out on uh, recoveries like Mario's, especially if he goes low. So this is a pretty good comeback already from Sharp. Nice empty hop to the grab. Yep, that's very strong. He's not gonna yeah. die, but of course you can see the potential of that. Oh, scary! Yeah, uh, Doctor Mario is very good at the ledge, especially if you can get that up smash. Ooh, nope. No. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Every time you're forced to go low as Mario in this matchup, just be ready to deal with that neutral air. A lot of times, there's not much you can do about it. It either just hits you out of your jump or flat out kills you. Yeah, so that's the thing about Mario too. His game plan in terms of recovery is pretty linear, so for Sharp to just be on the high ground and just go for that nair is good enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Samari wasn't uh, ready to cover that air dodge to the platform. Oh, nice. Not enough. Nope, not enough. I feel like Dr. Mario's would have killed there just because of the angle that it's in. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. That's the crazy thing about it too. It's like you have to really account for Dr. Mario's like which way to properly DI because of the knife that it does. And a lot of people just don't really know how they should DI that move. Just because how uncommon uh, the character is. Great air dodge here. Oh, be up B too early. Dang, he didn't need to up B there. It's kind of funny that like he just didn't expect Master Mario's do the fight a second time. But uh, still a pretty good lead here for Sharp. He just needs one, one or two good reads. Honestly, to take the stock. Yeah, same kind of the, the kind of the, the fun part of Dr. Mario. Yeah, yeah. But, um, same for Master too. Like he only needs about like three burst options to get in, right? And Mario can have quite a plethora of them. Big option here is like he's just like a sense of recovery plan. The shop is paying the rent. Nice. You look, see that angle right there? That specific situation, right? Like you have to, if you are a fresh player to Dr. Mario, you need to understand the angle to which his up smash is sent, especially if he reverses it too. Yeah, it's just a thing though. That move is just so good at ledge. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cause <laughs> roll and neutral get up so well. And uh, even then, Master Mario, uh, he's just trying to mix up his ledge option since he had been doing neutral get up yeah. most of the time. And the one time he rolled, like there's the up smash. So uh, yeah, great stuff. Great stuff for Sharp to take that first game with the Dr. Mario. I do uh, really like to see Dr. Mario in the first place. So um, I can't really complain. <laughs> but I am very impressed that, you know, his dock is this good. I, I know I shouldn't be, like, impressed that Sharp's good with so many characters at this point, but it's still really impressive every time. So, especially, like, he uses a lot of different types of characters, too. Like, there's characters, people that can use a lot of characters, but they're all, like, the same kind of character, you know? But, uh, Sharp can use a wide variety of characters. Yeah. To show that he's really skilled at this game. And that's but, um, the crazy thing too, I thought this was going to be a pretty big wash from Dr. Mario, I'm sorry, from, from Sharp, where like, Massa was just going to be able to run through within the first two seconds of like last game where he got the kill with the blood. Because Master Mario is really well attuned to fighting against Mario as well, like his win on Dark Lazy Offline and Evo last game was pretty big. But now in 2020, we see that Sharp has like the biggest pick of them here, but unfortunately losing the stock for going a little bit too yeah, he had no double jump there, but that was another situation where he wanted to get the, you know, lingering there to catch that low recovery of uh, Mario, but Mastic mixed up the timing this time. Yeah. Oh, no tech there, but he's a little bit too slow on the ground to chase him. But let me just do it twice. I think it's funny that Mario also dies to his own uh, 
devices of the double up smash on shield. Yeah, and it's big too because his hitbox extended with the grab. Yeah, he literally got hit by his own thing that all Mario's do. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, he, oh, oh, no, he, just he was a little too, yeah. He was too far away to get the cape. So that's really good for Sharp because now he's in a position where he can uh, take this stock back. Oh. That's good, that's good. Don't roll. Kind of hold your ground here, able to sneak the grab. Of course, down tilt. It's cooldown, isn't that great? Once more on the flood. He's waiting for him, yep. Yeah, that was really smart. Recovery. He had very little options there after getting flooded the second time. Oh, he was at the ledge, though. Yep, getting down throw at the ledge like that. At that percent. Yeah. He has a lot of kill confirms, man. Dr. Mario is a very powerful character. That's the... the things that you know is good about the game yeah oh this is tough yes yeah, so this is the thing from master too i kind of want to see him avoid going a little bit too low because we've been seeing how sharp is able to spell him there oh double down yeah uh, double forward air. yeah double forward air is true but he just didn't space it right yeah unfortunately for that master Mario. and uh this is this is good for him but he definitely needs to close out oh, no, no, come on, man. not like this oh, not like that he so when you go for that type of edge guard where you know going that deep off stage trying to snag a, a recovery like that you just have to know if you mess up you have to be prepared to tech and i'm just i don't know definitely just die like at 50 when you you know almost had the game in the palm of his hand really uh he just needs to keep doing what he did right in the previous game if he can because right now sharp's kind of going off I always get a little worried when Doc gets you around these like 60-70% very quickly because that's usually all it takes <laughs> for the most part. Oh, oh what a call out dude. See, and it's, <laughs> it's tough too because like in that situation like Mass's thought process there. That was good on the line too, catches him back before I get to the until I attack. But Mass's thought process there was like perfectly right. Like if I go for a roll or if I get up improperly, I'm gonna get red by Sharp. Which is be doing the past two games. Yeah, I mean it is what it is. Like if your opponent's reading like all your options from ledge, the best thing you can do is change the timing that you're getting off the ledge and doing things. But oh my god, I'm not sure what just happened. <laughs> What, why he just SD like that so fast? Yeah. But uh, he definitely can't be giving Sharp any freebies at yeah. all, especially in this type of situation. Oh, great up B out of shield. Keep forgetting he has that option as well. Very fast and strong move they can go for. Nice. That was actually good DI. Yeah, that was actually good DI from Sharp. I was gonna say, he, and Mass is good on him to read the DI as well. Nice. Goes for the grab here, goes for throw, stage control, fireball, is gonna rain down, unable to catch the, uh, the recovery, but still, I like it, Master just tries to hold the stage as much as possible, now he's off of it. Very scary position, yeah. I don't blame him for going for like a roll read in the corner like that, because he was like, scaring him with the empty jump. No yeah. sweet spot on the back there, unfortunately. That narrow will last forever, but nonetheless, here, Master, finally a little bit of breath, breath of fresh air, 96. Still really tough yeah, on him though. This is very scary. He can die to most things. <laughs> he strides, like, you kinda wanna change your timing. I think it was smart of him to just hold shield a little bit extra longer, because he knows the second one's coming. Roll, yeah, kind of a uh, bad time for Doc for Master to drop a combo at low percent. He he needs anything he can get at this point. Great pivot grab. He's just being very patiently up the ledge. Sharp that is. Nice, and he kind of able to poke through here. Still, he can't make any mistake here, really. Oh, very yeah, greedy. That'll, very that'll greedy. Do it. Yeah. Not surprised, though. I mean, he had to make something happen, and you know, he gets a lot of reward from his grab, so I'm not surprised he just ran in for a grab there.